Okay, yeah, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, make sure that the bike fires up. We don't need to run it, but just let's make sure it fires up because when we've done all these wiring changes and everything, it's, it may be a good time to go ahead and check that out. So, Okay, first of all, uh, if you did uh, paint your tank and you uh, refilled it full of fuel, uh, make sure that you put the uh, petcock in the prime position. Uh, what that does, that goes ahead and uh, that allows the carburetor to fill with gas uh, because it probably won't fill... Uh, with the uh, in just in the run position because of the diaphragm or the vacuum diaphragm not being open, so I go ahead and just put that in the prime position for a little bit, and then uh, let's go ahead and uh, see if she fires up. Check it for leaks. Make sure there's no leaks and stuff around there. Don't forget you got to pull in the clutch on these. Pull the choke out, and let's try her. Okay, she fires up so we know that the wiring and everything is okay for the uh, motor and stuff so now what I like to do is after I've uh, made sure it starts up go ahead and put the uh, petcock back in just the run position you don't need to leave it in the prime position because uh, it's a safety device in case the gas ever wanted to drain out of your carburetor with a leak or something it'll keep the uh, carburetor the gasoline from coming out of the petcock so go ahead and put that in the run position and then we'll continue on uh, one other quick note too, uh, now if for some reason your motorcycle doesn't run uh, when it's on the uh, run position or on position, you may want to try the prime position and just see if it runs. Uh, uh, sometimes if it doesn't run on the, uh, on the on position, then that means you probably have a vacuum leak on, your, uh, on the hose, maybe replace the vacuum hose or it's not hooked up. So anyway, uh, make sure you check that out and then also uh, on, this, on this cover, uh, to remove the tank, if you for some reason need to move, remove the tank, you can go ahead and uh, just take the cover off. And you should be able to undo the, uh, the uh, seat support here and swivel it out of the way and kind of pull it out. And then uh, you can lift the back of the tank up and kind of pull it to one side or the other to avoid those uh, front two forks on this, uh, on this seat pan. So you, you can get the tank off and on without taking the main uh, seat pan off. So just a quick note on that and then let's continue.